Welcome back. Today what I want to do is I want to show you how we're going to take our one of our little pinch cups and we are going to be applying an underglaze on it so we can do the scraffito technique of glazing. Now scraffito technique, if you remember, it's the technique when we have an underglaze on an unfired clay body and we're going to carve through the underglaze revealing the color of the clay body underneath. In this case, we have earthenware clay, so whatever glaze we're going to be putting on top of it, we're going to have that reddish-orange color that shows. Now, for ours, I recommend that you glaze the outside. If you want to glaze the inside, that's up to you. It might take you an extra day to get that done. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to flip it upside down on a banding wheel, and I'm going to go ahead and apply my first layer of glaze. Now, you always want to apply the glaze before it's fired, so you can do the scrapito technique. If you forget and you fire it, you won't be able to do scrapito. You'll just have glaze on there, but you can't really carve through it. Now, what I want to do is I want to do three to five layers of underglaze. I would call this my first layer. What you want to do is you want to allow it to dry to the touch between the layers, which might take you five minutes to dry between the layers. When it is shiny like this, you know that it has to dry more. You want to try to avoid handling it too much while it's wet because, of course, you're going to transfer fingerprints. Um, you know that it's dry to the touch because when you touch it, glaze will not come off on your hands. So three to five layers for underglaze is usually good. If it appears to be thin, then please put on a few more layers. Um, underglazes, if they are not properly in, uh, applied, if they're not thick enough, it will look thin after you clear glaze it and you'll be able to see the clay body kind of uh, going, like kind of coming through. So I'll give this a few more minutes and then I'll be able to put on uh, the next layers. Hopefully you can get it all done in one bell and then we'll be ready to carve. So that's how you put on your glaze.